giant thumper we must stand and fight against the odds. The size of the opponent can make no difference. To be a real champion is the ultimate yeah. test. Yeah. To win is the ultimate goal. I came to crush anybody in my way. They getting hit with the chin music. Punk straight getting it. My team versus your team ain't a thing. Take it to the ring. Fight to the extreme. We can go from night till morn. Wow out, everybody get it on. I catch you out there with the Polish hammer. Love you to my man and watch him earth slam you. We number one and we bad for your health. You got no help. We snatch it on the belts. I knock you out of this building, boy. Cause I came to crush, kill, destroy. Crush, crush, kill, kill, destroy, 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 destroy. Crush, crush, kill, kill, destroy, 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 destroy. Back down, raw. Now we fighting for All right, what's up, Phoenix Heat fans? How are you guys? Sorry, my voice is still a little bit hoarse today. I'm almost better. Um, it's getting better. Just need to take it easy on the voice. Have, how's everything going with you guys? <laughs> no, I don't get mad at fans unless you, you know. No, I, it's it's all good. It's all good. Nope, everything's fine. Okay, so I'm going to make tonight a little interesting. There's going to be some rewards at stake here because I'm going to have the number one contender, Carl Marcus Arsenio, do battle against an opponent. I'm not going to say who yet, but if that person wins, he gets put into the championship match. I'm also going to have the Terminator, the current reigning defending Fan XT champion, in a, in a singles match in the main event and if that person can knock off the champion they will be added to the match at the next Friday Night Freddy's pay-per-view Broken Dreams so hope you guys are excited for that little stipulation I'm going to throw in let's start out by uh, going to do some some bigger matches so that we can incorporate more people into the matches so we're going to start out with a just a normal match All right, so turn that on. And since Optimus is here, Hannibal Schneider's going in. Uh yeah, yeah. I gave you I gave you Roman Reigns entrance and stuff because I didn't I didn't have a comment from you after the stream had ended that told me what you wanted specifically. I think you had mentioned it in the chat, 
but I don't really I don't really check there. You have to comment on the video after it airs, or else I won't see it. All right, this is Magnum Optimus Entertainment's character. This is Hannibal Schneider. I don't think I've seen his entrance before. Looks pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of King Destroyer's entrance. Yeah, I can put I can put Harrison Ten in there, sure. Yep, you guys show up, you get matches. That's how it works. After this, I'm going to start recording Friday Night Freddy's. I'm hyped. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see if he shows up. I don't think he's even here. Oh, hey. Speak of the devil. Um, I think I just gave you Roman Reigns stuff for now until you got back to me. I was like, well, I want to put him on, but I don't have him finished. So I just kind of threw whatever on him. But if you comment on this video after the stream airs, I will go back and change his moveset. And I'm not telling that to everybody. I'm specifically talking to Royal Fall right now. So when I'm saying I'm going to go change your stuff, that's what I mean. <laughs> so we'll just go with that for now. I'm not going to do it in the middle of the stream, but Okay, so he actually has a different entrance. Right now he's coming out to do Love's entrance. I just thought it'd be funny because he dances. Okay, who's coming out next? It's Aaron Woody's character. No, right now that's actually Dude Love's entrance. Coming out to AJ Styles' entrance. <laughs> All right, here's Kyle, Kyle Morrison's character. Picking an original entrance. I didn't really think about this entrance. I haven't seen it yet this year, to be honest. I used to have a really good Stone Cold Steve Austin in... Uh, Gosh, which one was that? I think it was WWE 14 or something. All right, there's Kyle Morrison, everybody. I believe he was brought over from Xbox One.
Yeah, but you have to tell me that after the stream. I'm not going to remember that because I, I get a lot of requests to change characters like every day. So if you want to get my attention about that, make sure that after this video airs that you just send me a little comment on the video. So just go watch the replay. Just leave me a comment and I will change it. <laughs> the text box. That's not what I said. <laughs> Kyle Morrison goes in. Boom. Reverse suplex. Hey, what's up, Nathan Games? Oh, there's the dragon whip. Delayed vertical suplex. There's a running neck breaker on the floor. Running STO. And there's a jawbreaker. Hannibal Schneider goes for the arm drag. Big chop. Oh, nice 450. Who's in this match? We have Aaron Woody taking on Rage Lord 9000's character, DJ. And then we have Kyle Morrison in the ring, and he's taking on Magnum Optimus gaming character, Sandable Schneider. Oh, excuse me, I always do that. It's Magnum Optimus Entertainment. Not gaming. My fault. <laughs> Oh, he counters the spear. Thought he had him with the spear. It's an overhead shoulder toss. Aaron Woody and DJ Funky are drifting dangerously too far away from the ring. Because if uh, there's a pinfall going on in the ring, they're not going to be able to make the save. Oh, it looked like he speared him from the ropes. That was intense. <laughs> Are you saying he's slow? It's a pump handle. Oh, into a rib breaker. Oh, he gets dropped outside the ring. Floats over into a Boston Crab. There's a snap DDT. It's got him by the throat. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, it's a super power bomb. He kicks out. It's put into the Boston Crab. Is Kyle Morrison going to make the save? That was a little close. Uh, no. The main event is going to be... Um, I'm sorry to get distracted by the action. The main event is going to... It's a double main event. We're going to have Carl Marcus Arsenio. And he's going to be fighting somebody if they beat him. They get put into the title picture for this... For this uh, upcoming pay-per-view of Friday Night Freddy's. And same thing goes for Terminator. He's not going to be defending the title, but if whoever can beat him in the main event, um, they'll advance also to be included in the match. So it could potentially become a fatal four-way for the title at Friday Night Freddy's. We'll have to wait and see how they fare tonight.
There's a jawbreaker from DJ. And there was a nice fall away slam right out of the pump handle. Comes down to Aaron Woody and Hannibal Schneider. At least for now. And this can't be good. Sets him up for something. Oh, he's going for that muscle buster. It's a Schneider suplex. Looked like Hannibal Schneider knew if he went for the pin, it was going to get broken up. <laughs> Oh, nice brain buster. Right on the floor. I've, heard, I've already got two people in mind. Sorry, man. Oh, and there's the three count. Here's your winner. Kyle Morrison. Boom. There's it was almost like a springboard spear. That was pretty cool. And I completely missed the sweet chin music, honestly. Looks like that was enough to get the job done though. All right. And I have the wrong controller in my hands. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, I'm excited for the next match. Hopefully this thing loads quicker. There it goes. Asking you shall receive. Here's Doritos, created by Amanda Murr. Or, excuse me, Amanda Murs, if I'm not mistaken. Senor Doritos Locos. <laughs> yep this was an xbox one creation all right here comes harry beast five character harrison 10 yeah <laughs> yeah i put that on there so it'll make it a little more shiny on the Doritos logo. Yeah, Ty Dillinger is one of my favorite characters. I, I like this entrance. Hey, what's up, power player? <laughs> the opponent's going to eat the Doritos. Oh, snap.
<laughs> yeah, this guy's got Goldberg's entrance, I guess. I think it's funny that John Cena has a bootleg of Pat's Blue Ribbon Beer as a t-shirt, seeing as how he's supposed to be one of those, like, child-friendly superstars. Hey, what's up, FNAF fan? How's it going? If you guys are new to Fan XT, this is the show where I take your characters using the hashtag the game MLL, and I let you guys showcase your own creations on my show. And it's called Fan XT. It's kind of like a parody of NXT. This is the development show. And if your character gets popular enough to hold the Fan XT Championship, he will make an appearance on Friday Night Freddy's. So that's kind of the little added bonus. comes crazy sauce <laughs> he's got the godfather's entrance oh my god <laughs> that was funny the one time where he made the run in cameo appearance he was just scouting talent <laughs> That's got to be a cane. That's got to be a cane. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be having uh, Friday Night Freddy's come out on Thursday and Friday this week. I'm going to do a two part episode. It's going to be the Jump Scare Championship conclusion, it's going to have the Fan XT Championship defended. We're also going to have the tag team titles for the Friday Night Freddy's defended, and we're also going to have the Golden Freddy Championship defended. So it's going to be this Thursday and Friday. You guys aren't going to want to miss it. There's good surprises, and I'm excited to show you. <laughs> I wish I could talk about it right now. So Doritos going right after Crazy Sauce. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was his name? SNS Darkness. Okay, sorry. Gotta get his name right. I'm just gonna refer to him as Darkness. Oh, there's a jumping clothesline. Well, you know what they say. Sauce ain't easy. <laughs> All right, Harrison Ted taking it to darkness. Oh, I spoke too soon. Trading reversals out on the floor. The clothesline from Doritos just about broke Crazy Sauce in half. Oh, my God. Poor Crazy Sauce. Big rake to the sauce bottle. Big Russian leg sweep. Harrison 10 getting thrown back towards the ring. <laughs> and darkness getting thrown to the corner. He caught Harrison 10. There's a pop-up Styles Clash. Ooh, rough. 
Rados is looking to put away Crazy Sauce. Not if Darkness has anything to say about it. Ooh, big reverse elbow. Russian leg sweep. And Doritos rolls out of the ring. <laughs> Throw your chips in his face, right? <laughs> oh, man, I can't wait till I get my voice back so I can actually laugh. You're killing me. Uh, that was a good one. And on the apron, ooh, big elbow strike. And it looks like we've traded opponents here. We now have Harrison 10 going after Crazy Sauce. Doritos throws the darkness into the ring. And he ducks the sweet chin music. Yeah, I heard, heard Doritos has a big chip on his shoulder. Oh, speaking of being on somebody's shoulders. Oh, it's a tornado bulldog from that fireman's carry position. It's a big suplex from Harrison 10. And Crazy Sauce rolls out of the ring. He's hitting everybody he can with the sledgehammer. Harrison 10 battles back, though. Uh-oh. Harrison 10's in no man's land. There's a super power bomb. One. Two. And he rolls over into the Boston Crab. Is he going to be able to escape? Oh, that was close. So hip toss back into the ring. <laughs> so FNAF fan, the easiest way to become part of Fan XT is to show up to a creation live stream. I usually do them on Saturday nights. And um, if you want to know when I'm doing my live streams, make sure you go to my channel and turn on the notification bell. And just look for the title of the stream. I always title my streams. It should say Fan XT Creating You. That's usually the ones where I make fans. But you have to show up to the stream. Or else, you know, I ask people in the chat, you know, if they want me to make them. And if you guys are fans of my show and you've been on a few episodes, you guys go to the front of the line. New people, you have to wait for the other people that have been watching my show for a while. So that's just kind of my only stipulation. When I say Saturday night, I mean um, Pacific time. Hooks in the Boston Crab. Yeah, if you look at one of my previous episodes... Um, it's like one of my 2,000 subscriber specials that I did where I did some fan creations and I also imported some characters from Xbox One. Um, I, I already kind of talked about it. It was right before you got here. It's going to be a two-part episode. It's going to be on Thursday and Friday and it's going to be a pay-per-view. It's going to be um, Friday Night Freddy's Broken Dreams and we're going to have the Jump Scare Championship conclusion decided where Bendy takes on Tails EXE for the Jump Scare Championship. We have the debut of King Destroyer coming up. Well, at least Destroyer, I should say. Next, we're going to have the Fan XT Championship decided. And that's going to be, I believe, Episode 1. And then Episode 2 is going to be the Tag Team Championship match between the sister location team of Funtime Foxy and Funtime Freddy. We're going to be taking on Sonic and Tails EXE. I know Tails is double booked, so that may have some effect to him, having to have two matches in once. And then also, we're going to have um, Nightmare defend his championship against Chuck E. Cheese. He has declared himself the number one contender. There'll be more on that this Thursday. Oh, he hit him with the Kinsasa. <laughs> he almost beat him with the Kinsasa. Oh, there's a big bulldog from the Doritos, man. I think that might be it. I think that's the setup.
Oh, it gets blocked. <laughs> Which reminds me, uh, skeletons, I need to I need to get that other character that we were talking about pretty soon. Um not right this minute, but maybe like after the stream or possibly tomorrow morning. Um, no, that's a good call. I should probably start looking at music. <laughs> I was going to kind of do that for everybody all at once. So there's a few people that are going to debut that have never had a, an entrance with music. So, Oh, that's the King Destroyer finishing move. Oh, that's a modified version. It's Burning Hammer number two. Darkness hooks the leg on Crazy Sauce. Oh, he almost got three. Well, it would have got broken up. But still. Here comes Doritos. What's he going for? Oh. Is that one of his finishing moves? I think so. That's why Crazy Sauce went for the cover. Ooh, Darkness just barely kicks out. Kinsasa, Kinsasa, and he he pins Harrison Ten with the King with the Kinsasa. I believe that was one of Doritos finishing moves. <laughs> and here it is. The Kinsasa. <laughs> I love re I love renaming WWE moves of bootleg versions for you guys. That's one of my favorite parts of my show. Yeah, I totally screwed up. I didn't even, I didn't realize that um I was playing the match. Okay, well at least now I can fix the arena. Oh, what? There 
There we go. Okay. I'm just going to turn the entrances off for the sake of speeding up the stream, so. <laughs> um, I'll have, I'll have to look and see what that is. Hold up. Let me look at it and I'll let you know if it's something I'm interested in using. Okay, I'm not finding it. <laughs> oh, it's like it's like an EXE version of of uh Mickey Mouse. Is that right? And Lone Wolf scores with the neck breaker right out of the gate. Hey, I don't mind if you use a few emojis, bro, but please just don't flood the chat with emojis. Maybe. That's that's a cool idea. I don't know. I might do that. There's a reversal. Sweeps the leg. It's looking for a weapon. Hey, what's up, Tucker? How's it going, bro? Oh, he ducks. Lone Wolf catches the backdrop on the floor. <laughs> That's a reference to home. I get it. Oh, dang. Almost broke his arm. Is he going for it again? Oh, no mercy from Lone Wolf. He's trying to break his arm. Catches a right cross and a left cross. Oh, Retaliates by throwing him into the stairs. Suicide Mouse EXE. Oh, okay. That's cool. I'm sorry, Skelly. I know you made him and everything. <laughs> Thank you, though. Appreciate it. There's a signature move. Gets blocked from his finishing move. It's countered into the turnbuckle. Turns with the reverse elbow. It's a top wrist lock. You do a back body drop. Big elbows. Just remember, man, one of the only rules of Fan XT is you gotta be a good sport even if you lose, or else you get banned from Fan XT. I don't like people getting all upset, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm not saying that you're going to, but just keep that in mind. Alright, Nathan Game, see you, bro. One, two, ooh, kicks out. The springboard. He 
and keeps blocking the finishing move. <laughs> the paint tool hall of fame. <laughs> I guess so. Uh-oh. I think he might be going for a drive-by. Boom. Lone Wolf is in a bit of trouble here. He goes to the top ropes. Oh, he scores with the elbow drop. Is that going to be enough? It's a judo toss. Nice counter. Goes for the pin. All right. Hey, man, this is a PG stream. Okay. Can uh, you remove that from the comment section, moderators, please? All right, man, next time you're going to be timed out. I'm not, not kidding around, okay? He blocks the finishing move for a third time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Catch him with the German suplex. That's okay, man. Just remember, this is a PG stream, so just be sensitive to all the viewers. There's a bridge in German suplex. And he kicks out. Just barely, though. Oh, the Superman punch. Is that going to be enough? Hooks the leg. Lone Wolf gets the shoulder up. Looks like he's ready. Goes for something big. Oh, the mark of excellence. Looking for that big spear. Is he going to get the spear? Oh, there's the big spear. One, two, and Lone Wolf gets out again. Lone Wolf is a very resilient wrestler. Looks like you might have to dig into the bag of tricks. He's looking for something. He's got the table. He lets his guard down. Oh, another bridging German suplex right on the table. Oh, just barely. Okay. Thanks for that, fan. For that all, ugh. FNAF fan, I'll have to check that out later, bro. I, I googled it, though, in between rounds. Uh-oh. It's got him hoisted up. It's a crucifix into a sit-out powerbomb. One, two, and Lone Wolf once again kicks out. Is he going for the spear? Poised. Is he wasting too much time? Oh, he hits the spear for, I think, the second or third time. Lone Wolf is taking a lot of damage here. One, two. Oh my god, he still kicked out. Lone Wolf not wanting to die. <laughs> that used to be my finishing move. It's funny you should say that. Boom, there's the bridge. One, two, three, Lone Wolf. 
My tag team partner scores the win after taking umpteen amount of spears, Superman punches, drive-by kicks. Somehow he digs down deep and pulls off the win. Nice try, Royal Fall, though. Good game, bro. It's always next time. It's always next time, man. I don't think I've won a single match on this show, so don't feel too bad. I've put myself in like three or four matches, and I've lost every single one, so... You know, that's the thing with wrestling, man. There can only be one winner, so. All right, Lone Wolf just pulled out the win. All right, so now, now we're going to get started on the main events. All right, sorry guys, I had to come back. Um, I mean, sorry I had to leave. I didn't really say I was going to leave. But uh, my daughter was waking up, so I just had to go take care of her for a minute. And here we go. Now, Five Nights at Candy's and Friday Night Freddy's are like, they're... You know, they're on the Friday Night Freddy show. This is Fan XT. Like, I, I very rarely use my Friday Night Freddy's creations on this show. This is mainly just for fan creations. <laughs> All right, here's the N60 Money in the Bank briefcase holder. Here is Skelly's. So this game is WWE 2K17. And I have two different accounts. I have one account for Friday Night Freddy's and then I have this account for Fan XT. Alright. Bell is ring. Match is started. Carl Marcus opens up with a snap suplex. And two cool skeletons. Catches him with a German. Going for the stomps. Oh, it was a big splash. Remember, if Carl Marcus loses, nothing happens to him. He doesn't get removed from the match, but if, if two cool skeletons can bump off the number one contender, he's going to be entered into the championship match for the Fan XT Championship. Oh, I see. The characters on my show are the bootleg version. <laughs> you guys want to hear something crazy? I almost, I almost doubled my audience in a week. 
from that last episode of Friday Night Freddy's, I uh, I was up to like 1,700 subscribers. I'm almost up to 3,000 already. It's like I've been scratching and clawing to get subscribers, and like I was just so happy that it's like I've almost doubled my audience in a week. It's like almost unheard of. Setting them up for something. Oh, it was a big lariat. Oh, it was a bell clap. He could be looking for the last chancery. There's his finishing move, the last chancery. This two cool skeletons are going to be able to escape. Yep. Oh, big kick to the face. Looks like he could be looking for the giant swing. Dang, he threw him a half ways across the ring. Nice elevation on that springboard moonsault. Goes for the slam. And he reverses into the single arm DDT. Goes for the pin. And he goes in for the neck breaker. Oh, what an underhanded tactic. Reverses with the low blow. It's pretty much at the mercy now. We could be looking for that discus elbow. Oh, big discus elbow. Catches him with the code breaker. Nice counter. One, two. And Carl Marcus digs down deep. Scale leaves rocks. <laughs> it's got him by the hair. Club to the throat. Big clothesline. Off the ropes. Boom. Into the bulldog. Skelly's is mounting a comeback. See if he can keep the momentum in his favor. It's reversed with the jawbreaker. Beats him to the punch. He backs out of the signature move. Belly. Oh, he counters. Side headlock takedown. Inverted atomic drop. Oh. I think he was going for the last chancery for a second time. Might be looking for that imploding 450 splash. No, nope, regular 450 splash. Oh, it's his alternate finishing move. This could be it for Skelly's. And he just barely kicks out. <laughs> He's going for it again. Oh. That could be it. One. Two. Still not enough. Gets blocked out of the snap mirror. Skelly's gets tossed into the corner. Gets out of the drop kick. He's going for a suplex. Oh, he gets countered. Big forearm shot. Is he going for a submission? Oh, right down the, the spine. Big backdrop. I think he may have dropped him onto his own head. Is the referee slapping him on the head? The referee counted the one, two, three by slapping him in the back of the head. That was different. <laughs> okay, so Skelly's. Sorry, buddy. I guess it's not time yet. 
Call Marcus. Good job, bro. I received the code breaker. There's the first 450, I think. Now, but watch this count, though. Look, he he hurt himself with the German suplex. And watch the referee <laughs> slapping him in the head. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. All right, now time for the last match. We're going to have the previous winner of the first Royal Rumble, PPF Gamer, a.k.a. Angel. Hey, whatever works better, man. I honestly like the costume that you made better on this one, but um, it's up to you, man. No, this isn't. This isn't supposed to be that. It's supposed to be. Uh, I know you're just joking. This is um, just an Xbox One fan creation that I had to recreate in PlayStation Four. Here he comes making his way to the ring. He's known as PPF Gamer. He has his own website called How to Enjoy Your Games. My good buddy Max. And his character goes by Angel. I think he has kind of like a Johnny Cage thing kind of going on here. Huh. I don't think I've ever seen that pose. Oh, that's Goldberg's. Never mind. Oh, you're just holding a grudge because he beat you in the tournament, bro. <laughs> All right, there he is. There's Angel and his opponent. Current reigning. Defending Fan XT champion. Here is the Terminator. the champion of fan XT everybody all right there it is titles not on the line but a chance that the title is on the line. Right out of the gate, he throws him to the floor. Gutsy. 
<laughs> candy cane. That's Christmas cane to you, buddy. There's a suplex. And PPF Gamer catches him with a second reverse suplex. Hey, thanks, buddy. I don't think I've seen you on a live stream before. Welcome to the live stream. Appreciate your support, man. Chief Tank, everybody. And Angel launches Terminator up the ramp. I think Terminator's going to make him burn all of his energy at that rate. Yeah, I think my voice is just about shot anyway, so it's probably good that this is the last match. Angel escapes from the fallaway slam, catches him with a clothesline. He's now vulnerable to any attack for about 15 seconds. Oh, and he's taking advantage. Nice power bomb. And he goes from the backside, kicks him in the calf. <laughs> I guess people can't read. <laughs> I guess that's my answer to that. Well, hey, man, if you like watching, you know. That's cool. Make sure you check out some of my other videos, FNAF fan. I have a, uh, I have a tournament that I held right when I launched my show called the Golden Freddy Championship Tournament. And this was before I started like doing commentary and stuff on my videos. But you know, if you go check that out, you'll see a lot of FNAF matches. And there was a time where Belor and Circus Baby were the tag team champions. So you know, like there's a lot of good content. I'd recommend checking out my Friday Night Freddy's playlist or the Golden Freddy playlist. Um, no, that's not necessary, man. Why don't we just do it, like, right after this is over? Just, uh, you could just send me what the hashtag is, and then we can pull it down real quick. So, wait, I guess, yeah, technically, yeah. <laughs> I've already done that. Um, we did Xbox One versus PlayStation 4 tournament. To determine who's going to be the uh, Fan XT champion. And that's who, who's in the ring right now on the ground. Actually, it's the Fan XT champion, Terminator. <laughs> I think we've only beaten them once, Skeletons. Well, anyways, we're, we're not focusing on the match here. Angel taking it to Terminator still. Terminator needs to mount some offense here. He's not looking so good. Might turn into a triple threat at the pay-per-view. Which is going to be this Thursday and Friday. Well, at least he blocked the finishing move. Scoops him up for that tombstone. This is what beat two cool skeletons. Oh, there's a tombstone. Two. And kicks out. Oh, it's okay, man. You should go check it out sometime, though. Just look up my fan XT videos. Oh, nice. So all, all of my fan base stuff is live streams, but then I have, I have a show that I make too, so. Airs every Friday. It's got him in an Argentine neck breaker. Oh. Angel showing a lot of confidence here. Oh man, are you serious? He just buried him. He totally just buried him. He just put his foot on his throat, choked him out with a basic move, and got the one, two, three. I'm I'm in shock. I mean I expected I mean I'm not not to say that I didn't think 
Max's character could do it. But just in that fashion, that kind of surprised me a little bit. I thought for sure he was going to kick out of that. So now, Angel has been added to the title picture. It's going to be Carl Marcus Arsenio versus Angel versus Terminator at the next Friday Night Freddy's episode. Congrats to PPF Gamer. He was the first winner of the Royal Rumble. And it was not for a prize, but hey, I was like, you know what? That still took that still took a little bit of effort, so gave him a second chance. Gave Skelly's a second chance. PPF Gamer seizes the opportunity and moves on to Friday Night Freddy's. And you know what? I'm gonna after this is all over, I'm gonna put a link in the description to Angel's YouTube channel. He's a pretty cool guy. You guys should go check him out, give him some subs, show him some love, and tell him the game MLL sent you. He also does 2K streams, in case you're wondering. All right, well, anyways, guys, I'm the game MLL. Thank you for checking out my show. Be sure to tune in to Friday Night Freddy's. I think that's it for live streams this week because I have a whole pay-per-view to work on, and I'm going to need all the time I can get because my work schedule has me booked solid. Not to mention I'm doing college, so and I have a family, so I've got a lot going on. I want to get this pay-per-view shelled out as as quickly, but as you know, as good as possible. Um, yeah, if you have Xbox One, just submit me a character using the hashtag the game space MLL, and under the description put fan XT. That way I'll know exactly who it's from. Okay. Go watch uh, episode one of Fan XT, and it gives you all the information for submitting characters. All right, guys. Well, anyways, thank you again for checking out my show. It was cool having you here. It was cool to meet some new faces. Um, if you haven't, make sure you drop a like if you enjoyed the stream. Don't forget to turn on notifications if you want to be alerted when I'm doing my live streams. So, like I said, I'm the Game MLL signing out. You guys have a good night.